Hi everybody. Today's focus, I'm going to see how well my Bissell Crosswave removes bacteria from my kitchen and bathroom floor using the Bissell Sanitizing Formula. A few weeks ago I made a video about the Bissell Crosswave and in it I said I would do some bacteria testing on it and that's what we're going to do today. My Crosswave came with a sample of the multi-purpose pet floor cleaner and I ordered online the Bissell Sanitizing Formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare both of these and see how well both remove bacteria. So what I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab my floor. I'm going to place that sample on the section label B for before. Then I'm going to clean using my Crosswave, first using the multi-surface cleaner, swab the area again and place that in A for after. Seize the control, nothing is going to go there. Then I'm going to clean my Bissell Crosswave using fresh water and the Bissell Clean Out Cycle formula. Swab new areas in my floor. Put those samples in B for before, then clean the floors with the Crosswave using the sanitizing formula. The directions say in order to sanitize, remove visible soil, push the spray button to dispense the solution, allow to remain wet for five minutes, and stay off the cleaned area until completely dry. When it's completely dry, I'll take another sample and we'll place that in A for after. So let's see how well the Crosswave removes bacteria using the sanitizing formula.
Now for some results. Let's start with the results from the multi-purpose formula. The bathroom floor. So the before section has a lot of bacteria. We have a great variety of different types of bacteria. In the after section, I counted them. There's about 30 bacterial colonies in the after section. So you can see a good decrease between the before section and the after section. I think that the Bissell multipurpose formula does a pretty good job actually removing bacteria from my bathroom floor. The kitchen floor. Again, in the before section, we have a lot of bacteria, which is a great sample. In the after section, I counted a dozen bacterial colonies. So that's fantastic. I think, again, that the Bissell multipurpose formula did a pretty good job at removing bacteria from my kitchen floor. Next, let's look at the results for the sanitizing formula. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I'll add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or if you'd like to mail me a product to test, I have my mailbox address in the description. But do me a favor and send me an email to let me know that you're sending something so that I know it's from you. The bathroom floor. So in the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria and different types of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a decrease in bacteria. But I don't think it is quite 99% bacterial removal, but it most certainly did a good job. If you like seeing Petri dish results, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. The kitchen floor. The before section has a good amount of bacteria in it. In the after section, I only counted three bacterial colonies. So I think that the sanitizing formula did an excellent job at removing the bacteria from my kitchen floor. Looking at these results, I think that both formulas do a good job at removing bacteria. The multi-purpose formula is scented with Febreze, so it had a little bit of a strong scent, but it does not linger at all. And the sanitizing formula has a very clean scent. It's not citrusy, it's not flowery, but it's a very clean scent. And two of my kids commented that it smelled like doctor office uh, after I used it. The scent does not linger, but it does have a very clean scent. Overall, I think I'll use either cleaner on my floors as they both seem to remove a decent amount of bacteria. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.